a little game to leave you if you got domination on lockdown. M77 town too, M77 is the uh, you know, the new blazer, as people call the M16, pretty much has no recoil at all. Uh, I don't know about the damage, the damage is not hard, it's got like 4 or 5 bullets, but um, I guess it's pretty decent in uh, fire rate, so it kills really fast. And then there's also the uh, large clip, which makes it somewhat like a 290, which I really like, and I just walk right by it right there. And uh, I'm using the specialist package, so my first don't really matter, it's just about getting a streak of eight too hard to game. People spawn so close to you, you can use eight for about two seconds. And then there's also the uh, factor that games are kind of hurt faster, but you never really see high kill games and yeah, I'm not a bad Call of Duty player at all, but I can barely break 100 kills ever in uh, this new Call of Duty. It's ridiculously hard. Even if I'm using salt kill streaks with like an Osprey gun or anything, but I don't spawn that, so it's impossible to get super high kill game footage. Um, you know, I'm really liking the final of the so far, you know, this is the first review that I've done on it. And I'm already 10 prestige, level 80. Uh, it's pretty easy to level up if you just don't camp and you actually, uh, play kill confirmed and go for dog tags. I don't know how that's important at the moment. But, uh, if you're playing a, a game that's like Domination or Kill Confirmed, you look like so much faster if you just uh, play the objective, grab dog tags, especially your own dog tags, playing kill confirmed, then uh, that counts as 250 instead of just 50 points. So, that's really easy for leveling up. And uh, domination, you get 150 points for capturing one flag. So, you can capture a ton of flags in the game, like 10 flags in the game, that's 1,500 points on its own. And then you'll probably get at least like 30 kills in a domination game if you're. If you're like me and you just don't camp, you rush around, just have a good time and enjoy the game. So, uh, in Domination, I don't really like the 3-cap. I normally go for the 2-cap, and I'm playing with, uh, I think I'm playing with two people that are they're kind of bad, you know, like, they're the, they're the friends that you play with, just so you don't get the randoms that, uh, can't even hold the left trigger, they just walk around hip firing. So, it's basically me and then two decent friends. And then, uh, random playing against whoever these guys were. They're, they were pretty bad, you know. And, uh, my uh, teammates did a really good job of holding down the entire right side, so I just stayed so low on the left. And, uh, whenever they tried to come out the other side, they would die from me. And we pretty much had a spawn trap, but we weren't, like, we weren't hardcore like those guys in demolition. I feel like 20, 299 is 5 every game, so they literally lost the spawn. I didn't block off if you didn't know the, uh, the score limit or whatever, like on the leaderboards for score per minute, it wouldn't count anything higher than 299 kills for uh, your score per minute, so that's why you just stop at 299. And uh, Domination is pretty much a game of uh, pinning the other team into a corner and then making sure that you're not so close that they'll spawn behind you and then just destroy you. And, uh, yeah, it takes, it takes, uh, kind of, like, coordination through your team, like, if your entire team knows what's going on, you will probably never lose a domination game, ever. Like, regardless of if you're, uh, a bunch of bad players playing together, if you're organized, and you guys all communicate, like, even if you're just saying, like, oh, I hate that guy using a Kimbo FMG in the corner next to P, that's still, like, a call out, and you're telling your friends where they are, so you may think you're not being like professional call outers, but you are just not as uh as descriptive as they are. And uh, I'm using this P4Q because it's just like something for fun, you know. I'm not, not playing with the best people in the world, so might as well enjoy the game. And uh, I'm also using flashbangs because in this game they can be thrown just as fast as uh, the concussions and stuns are. Or concussions are stunning, but I also used to stun grenades from Call of Duty 4. In Call of Duty 4 they were called stuns, and then Modern Warfare 2, I'm pretty sure they were stuns too, and then Black Ops had changed to the concussions. But why would Infinity Ward take uh, Treyarch's idea of concussions when they could just stick with stun grenades? 
it doesn't really make sense to me. And it seems like a lot of the game, uh, the game style has kind of been changed from Modern Warfare 2. Because now everything's kind of close quarters instead of super long and open, like the uh, Wasteland, of course, because that was, that was horrible. It was just everyone's outside of the map just using like a thermal sniper, and then there's all these two people just like the silencers and cold blooded just prone in the cave thing, never even moving, so no one knew what the heck was going on, except for the team that got there first. Oh, akimbo secondaries, but they're the only guns in the game that don't do damage over range, besides snipers, but still. They don't use the damage over range, so they're ridiculously good. Like, Akimbo Scorpion, their crosshair is so small that you can hit someone across the map. Like, they're better than the Akimbo FMGs. In my opinion, like, 9 times out of 10, Akimbo FMGs will outgun you, but you're probably gonna have the upper hand if you're using something like the uh, Scorpion, because, look, I just killed my 0.5 seconds right there. And uh, it just takes accuracy, because I'm not going to miss a bullet if the crosshairs are on him. With the Akimbo FMG, the recoil is ridiculous, and it just goes everywhere. But the uh, Scorpions are only good if it's Akimbo, otherwise they're not the best gun in the game. And uh, also, the quick draw inside of Hang, I like how they made that two separate perks, because now people have to decide between like, scavenging inside of Hang, or, yeah, scavenging inside of Hang, I have to decide between uh, quick draw and assassin. So, oh, right here, my controller is next. But I like how they, uh, the perks is kind of spread out, so it's impossible for someone to just be a walking bank and then they have a uh, group, of course, which is specialist in all the uh, efficiencies and everything they give. And I think it's, eh, it's a little overpowered, but considering you're not getting the helicopter in the game, it's not overpowered. Like, if I were to. Get a like, UAV along with this sweep, it would be really good to be overpowered. Because then I would just know where everyone is and I would never die. But you don't. So, that's the best part about uh, specialist Just being able to be a walking tank. But, you know, it's kind of less of this, or it's kind of at a disadvantage compared to other kill streaks. Because uh, someone can sneak up to you, or sneak up on you with something like this assassin, and then you're just dead because. Whoever sees someone first in this game pretty much gets a kill. I think it's all about just positioning yourself better than the opponent so that you can get the uh, upper hand in the fight. If you see someone first, you're going to outgun them, you're going to get killed. And, uh, yeah. Most of the Call of Duty games are like that, but in, like, you still turn on someone every once in a while, but it's not as often as it was in like, Call of Duty 4 or Black Ops where you feel like you have double the health of this game. And right here I get the Moab, uh, Massive Ordnance Air Blast, a lot of people call it the, uh, Mother of All Bombs, so, I'm not sure, uh, I don't want to it doesn't really matter at all, and, uh, Snipe the Air, Celebrate, Moab's not too hard to get, they're, uh, they're definitely harder than the tactical nuke to get, but, they're still kind of like, you play the game how it's supposed to be played, and then you'll do good and you'll get the Moab, so, uh, final score of this Good game job. was 62 kills and 3 deaths. I didn't really play the objective much except for the first captures in the game because, well, that's all I need to do is get the win. Alright, so, yeah, have a good day and enjoy Modern Warfare.